In this how-to video, I'm going to show you how to use Stone FX on this tabletop here. So Stone FX is by the Artisan Company. Um, it is a paint that is designed to give a stone look finish and can be used on furniture um, or decor, so like pot, pots or planters or anything. Um, so I have got the colour Rustic Rye that's going to go on the top of this. We've already painted the legs here in Carbon Black Velvet Lux. So it should give a lovely contrast and still keep the warmth. So this is a previously painted piece and it will go on perfectly over the top. Um, so a few things you need when using your stone effects. You need a stirring stick, it does need to be stirred like all the paints. Um, can opener. Um, and then, because, because I'm doing a big project, I have the tools. So this will allow me to spread it out over uh, the whole piece to give more of a stone concrete look. Um, there's the three different sizes, and I'll be playing with all of them. Um, and then I also have an older, uh, this is a one and a half inch brush, which will just help me go around these edges here where the table curves. Um, the reason we use an older one is because while this is um, fully water based and can be cleaned up in water, um, there are, I suppose, grit in it and that can get stuck down in your bristles. So you don't want to use your best brush when using this. Okay, so I have stirred my stone effects now and I'm going to start applying it. So to start with, I'm going to use my 100mm tool and pretty much get a good amount out and you just want to spread it on. Um, it, is, it goes on really thick, you actually have quite a lot of play time, um, especially if you're doing it thicker. So I'm just going to spread it out, I'm going to go around the whole thing and then I will um, come back and create more texture. So it's been about 40 minutes now since the first coat. Um, it was a nice thick coat and it has slowly started to dry. So now is a great time to go back and play with it and manipulate it to create different texture. So just using the same tools, I've got the 100 and the medium size. Um, and pretty much, just in different ways, pull over, um, apply pressure, um, or to bend it, um, take some of it back off, rub it onto other areas, and you can create all of this awesome texture. So I have finished the tabletop now. Um, I only needed to do one coat on the top and as I showed, I pulled it back using the spreader tools to create all this different texture. Around the side here, I just did another second coat with the uh, flat brush and just pulled it up and stippled it a bit. Um, so wonderful coverage. It has this fantastic texture. We'll show you some close-ups. Um, there were a few bits where it had uh, come up a little bit high and so I used some medium to rough grit sandpaper, um, a 120 grit, to 
to sand those bits back and knock off anything that I didn't need. Um, yeah, so it's all finished. It does not require any sealing. It doesn't require anything else. Um, it's outdoor grade. This table itself is an indoor table, so it will stay inside. But you could do it on an outdoor table and get this amazing stone look finish. You can pull it up um, to create as much texture as you like or as little as you like and keep it a bit more flat. Um, whatever suits or works for your home. So I hope this is a, has inspired you. Uh, we will have lots of photos, we'll be doing some blog posts around this and if you ever have any questions please get in touch, we would love to talk to you about this finish. Thank you.